Hi there and welcome to Hoo-Ha Sports Today. And in this Monday's edition, we will not only look at United's 19th title that's waiting on the horizon, but the roundup of the other sporting headlines from the weekend, like Sebastian Vettel's continued dominance in the season's of Formula 1 championship. But the weekend started with sad news on the demise of one of Gold's most loved and charismatic players, Severiano Ballesteros. Ballesteros lost his fight against cancer after a two-year battle with a tumour in his head, which required him to undergo several operations, chemotherapy and even to remove a part of his skull to allow the tumour to swell. But over the past couple of weeks, his condition deteriorated and during the Champions Dinner at the Masters two weeks ago, he put himself to attend the annual gathering at Augusta and that was probably the last time most of his peers would have seen him. During his career, Sevi won five majors and 87 titles overall, which also included successes in the Ryder Cup both as player and captain. Tributes for Sevi came pouring in from all over the golf and sporting world like this one from his longtime friend Jack Nicholas. Coach, Golf has lost a great champion and a great friend. We also lost a great entertainer and ambassador for our sport. I have always had wonderful respect for Sevi's ability, how he played the game and the flair he brought to the sport. It was his creativity, his imagination and his desire to compete that made him so popular not only in Europe but throughout American galleries too. Sevi's enthusiasm was just unmatched by anybody I think that ever played the game." Unquote. His family was by his side when he passed away late Saturday evening. He was 54. Now to some other sporting news before we venture into football. Red Bull's world champion Sebastian Vettel continued his dominance in the season's Formula 1 series by capturing another win in yesterday's Turkish GP. As Vettel was leading from the front, there were battles up and down the grid. Mark Webber overtook Ferrari's Fernando Alonso in the last five laps to clinch a 1-2 finish for Red Bull. While Alonso's third surprised many, as all thought it was going to be the McLarens who will be challenging the Red Bull boys. Nico Rosberg capitalized on a wrong strategy for Jensen Button as Nick Heidt and Vitaly Petrov in the Renault are showing improved consistency. And the same can be said about Sauber's Kamui Kobayashi. To the standings, and Vettel has a massive 34-point lead over Lewis Hamilton, who looks set to be going head-to-head -head with Weber. Button in fourth and Alonso in fifth will have their own battle, while Renault's Heidfeld, Petrov and Mercedes GP's Nico Rosberg will fight it out among the best of the rest. Moving on to football, the Premier League, and how are you United fans feeling today? Yes, gloat, cheer and celebrate, prematurely if you want, because you certainly proved that last night, in the words of a famous dog, that you are in it to win it after the 2-1 victory over your closest rivals Chelsea. Well, not that close anymore. We were at the Man United viewing party in South PJ and once the final whistle was blown, it was almost like they've won it. A sneak peek that the United supporters here already made arrangements to get the winning title t-shirts printed out by this week. But let's look at the results from the weekend before you bring you the table. Arsenal, who mathematically had an outside chance for the title, were handed a shock 3-1 defeat by an inspired Stoke, while Spurs were obviously uninspired by Manchester City's loss at Goodison Park as they only managed a one-all draw with Blackpool at home, thus almost certainly wiping off a return to Champions League competition next year. And Wolves pulled themselves out of the relegation zone with a 3-1 win over West Brom. With just two matches remaining, all United need is a point. Just one point and the title is theirs. They meet Blackburn next. Chelsea and Arsenal, okay, let's just leave them in their moments of sorrow. So I should leave as well as Spurs could end up in six as Liverpool play Fulham tonight and Spurs will have to travel to play Manchester City on Tuesday night. A nice scruff is taking place between Stoke, Bolton and Fulham. Let's take a glance at what's happening on the United, Chelsea and Arsenal Facebook pages and see what the fans are saying. First up, Arsenal. Joseph Wong just pleads for a change with Wenger remaining as the gaffer, but all he asks for is a trophy. While Joseph, Michael Joseph Rainford compares Arsenal's ineffective players to Darren Ben's spell at Spurs. And on the Chelsea pay, page, well, in short, it's the blame game. But Ekichuwo Chike poses a lot of questions with regards to what has happened over the season and doesn't think Carlo is to be blamed. While many, many, I tell you, want Lampard to be sent to the bench or either back to West Ham. On the United page, where what else can you expect? It's GGMU, glory, glory, man, United, well done, go get one point, blah, blah, blah. And you and I know that the blah blah ing is not going to stop anytime soon. So, for the time for me, it's time to get the blah out of here. Tomorrow, we'll update you on our own Super League and all the other major leagues in Europe as AC Milan win the Serie A title while Barcelona are almost there with the Spanish crown. Till then, you have a great start to your work week. I'm Patrick for the team saying thanks for logging on and it's bye for now.